Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Glad to have you here. You know, there's one thing that we all have in common, and that is that we are all children. We're all children of someone. Every one of us have parents and grew up with someone raising us. Now that last part can vary greatly based on your background and family of origin and what that looked like, but all of us began as children. And for many of you watching this, another place that we have in common is that we've been given opportunities to then be parents yourself. And today we wanna to speak to that role of investing in your children uh, and looking at one of the instructions given to parents from scripture. Now I know that for some of you this may not apply. Some of you may have grown adult children. Some of you may not be parents yet. Some of you may have never been able to be parents. But I want to speak to those that are, uh, especially if you have children in your home. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 4, we're told this. It says, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. I've always appreciated this verse for what it shares. That initial reminder to not live in a way that, that provokes our children to be angry and frustrated. And this can take a lot of forms. It can correct us from being too heavy handed with discipline, too harsh with our words of correction, or simply too strong and rigid in our expectation of our kids that are still learning and growing of how to do things. We're to be gentle and gracious to them, but it shares that the point of this, the ultimate goal in this, is to point them to Jesus. See, it says to bring them up in the instruction of the Lord. We're to teach them how to follow and serve God, how to understand the life that God has for them. We're to help them understand how much Jesus loves and cares about them and how he wants to save and forgive them. Now, if that seems like a lot, and if you're like, man, I don't have a Bible degree, I don't know how to do all that, I'm not uh, well-versed in all this, here's some practical steps to do this well. First, be open and honest about your faith, about how Jesus is working in your own life. Talk about your faith, how you love Jesus, how you came to believe in him, what that process is. Talk about how you regularly connect with him. Secondly, be open and honest when you mess up and fall short of God's expectations for you. If that has to do with your children, there's incredible power in apologizing to them when that is appropriate. There's power and effectiveness of being honest about when we don't do things the way God has called us to, when we sin and fall short. And this helps your kids and your family and everyone around you see what faith looks like through both the good days and the bad days. And the last encouragement was, would be to do spiritual things together as a family. Pray with them. Read the Bible with them. Go to church with them. Preferably all of those things, but if you aren't there yet, start with something you are comfortable with and make it a goal to go to that next level. So let me encourage you today that if God has blessed you with children, grandchildren, if you've maybe got nieces or nephews in your life or any other kids around you, to be intentional to point them to their Heavenly Father who loves them and has a plan for them. This is a legacy that you can leave and live out for your family that will have a lasting impact. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.